Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So today I want to check out the portable fridge slash freezer from Iceco. This is the VL45 Pro S. So this is a very nice uh, high-end fridge. It is comes in about 699 bucks, but I'm telling you, this is a quality unit. I've already checked it out quite a bit. Now I want to do a kind of a review and compare it to another model similar, but this thing is super quality made. Uh, now it is, it says 45, so it's 45 liter and it is 47.5 quart. It is a single zone fridge, unlike a lot of them are dual zone, but a lot of times you don't need dual zone. And in fact, of all the times I've used all my refrigerators that I have, I have several different ones. The dual zones, I've never actually used the dual zone part of it. I've only used it as one zone. So uh, be it as it may, you can use them dual zone, single zone, but this is a single zone. But it has a lot of cool options that a lot of other ones don't have. And that's why this is one of the top of the line ones out there. And like I said, this is made by Iceco. So pretty much to get this started, I want to talk about the measurements. So this is 18.1 inches tall. It is 15.7 inches deep from front to back, and it is 28.1 inches as far as the width. This fridge does run off of AC home current, because it does also come with one for 12 volts, so you can plug it into your car or your truck. I actually plug it into the back of my Jeep Gladiator. Works great that way. I have an accessory outlet back there, and you can also run this off solar if you so desire. I'll show you a few features on this one that normally you don't see on one. Uh, there's some very cool things about it that I do like. Uh, one thing about this is metal, so it is made out of like a steel housing on here. It does have plastic top and plastic corners, so it's very robust. Looks like some stainless screws here. Very nice, has very nice handles. Looks like this knurled aluminum handle here, this plastic and it folds up and down now it does come up where it don't uh, smash your hand it's not like some of them that are spring loaded but the way it fits here it's not going to flop and bang around with you at all so very nice handles so one thing it does have is a dc input on this side so you can plug your power cord on one side or you can plug it on the other so it makes it very versatile uh, for different situations where you want to put in the vehicle you might want the plug on either side. This one will do that. So one thing also that makes this very versatile is the lid. The lid is really cool on this thing. You push it in, you can raise it up just like this. Very nice, has a nice rubber gasket seal and a bead here to seal on so it gets a nice tight seal. And then, so you can shut this lid and then you can also open it from the opposite side. This makes it amazing when you're in a vehicle I've had them in there, and I want the cooler a certain direction because of the power cord. So that's the nice thing about the power cord being on each end, or you want to be able to open it from one side or the other. And depending on what you're in, you may just want to be able to open it either way. So you can close it, open it this way, open it this way. And another cool thing for like when loading, if you really want to have access, click both of them, this lid comes right off. How cool is that? You have full access to it without the lid on it. And these are nice stainless steel components here that lock it on, so it is built very heavy duty. Snap it on just like that, and you're back to normal where you can open it up. Check this out. This is a very heavy made unit right here, no doubt about it. So as you know, a lot of these portable fridges, and this one is no exception, they do run off of a compressor in here. So this is just like your house refrigerator. It has a compressor in here, and it does run off the R513A refrigerant. This is way better than using a cooler. In the back, old days, I used to use a cooler, throw a bag of ice in there. Your ice melts, makes a big old mess, and your stuff gets wet. Also, when you throw a bag of ice in a cooler, you know, you've used up most of your space just by the bag of ice. Well, on these, you don't need that. You plug this thing in to 12 volts. You plug it into your house current. You can hook it up to your solar. You can run this thing in your RV, in the back of your truck, in your back of your car seat trunk, and you are ready to go. This thing just is just so simple that the old coolers with ice is a thing of the past. And for the price you pay for one of these, and you can buy some very expensive coolers that you can put in put in there, and you got ice, you got to get for it. 
and you spend more on ice in the long run than you could just buy a good one to start with. So inside this unit, it does have a basket and the basket comes right out nice and easily. Uh, this here will be the, the accessories to plug it in. Haven't opened that box yet, but a basket so you can actually put this thing in your vehicle, load your basket up in your house with your drinks or your food or whatever, take the basket out, drop it in. Instead of having to lift this unit and it loaded full of food or drinks, you can just set this in there, drop your basket in when you get home and you're done. Whatever's left over, pull the basket out, take it in your house, put it in the fridge, and you're good to go. So on the inside here, you can see that it's very nice textured aluminum. Uh, this unit here, this raised spot, this is where your compressor is underneath here, so it does take up some of your space, which all of them have this. Uh, if you're going to get one that has a compressor unit, this is what you're going to have. But your biggest space is right over here, and you can see there is a drain plug inside this unit. You just pull it out. It's got a rubber seal on it, so you can rinse this unit out. Put your plug back in, and on this side we do have an LED light, so when we have it plugged in, you open the lid, the LED light comes on. Very nice. It does have a little thing here showing some different things of preferable temperature settings you might want to set for water, drinks, juice, uh, wine, vegetables, meat, and tells you different things you can set it on. Okay, so as far as what comes in the little box, we do have the owner's manual right here. We do have our power cords, so we have a... This is like a very heavy cord. I've not, don't think I've ever seen one quite this heavy. But you do have a your DC cord it's right here, so you can plug into the accessory outlet, and then this plug into your fridge. Then you're going to have your 110 volt cord. You can plug into your wall outlet in your house, or into a portable power station. Uh, you also get some extra things. You get some, a couple extra screws and a wrench. You can actually replace this handle. If you happen to break a handle, it does come with an extra handle. I can't imagine one breaking. You'd have to be pretty abusive to do that. And it also does come with four new corners in case you break one of the corners, crack it. Uh, it's same screws. You can take them out and replace them. So that is very cool that they send the extra parts like that in case you do tear something up. Maybe you never will, but if you do, it's nice to have that option. It also, in this package here, looks like it does come with an extra drain plug in case you lose the one that comes with it. So we're going to take this thing and plug it in. And on this side, I do actually have a battery, a LifePo 4 battery that I can plug it into to run it off of. This is a 1280 watt hour, so I'm to run it for quite some time. And I'm going to use the plug on this side here. Plug it in just like that. We should have voltage to it. Okay, now on this side here, this is where we have all of our controls. Uh, so I do have it plugged in, but we'll turn it on here in a minute. All right, here we have another DC input plug, and this is one just like on the other side. So what I was saying, you can plug it in over there or over here, depending on your preference and your needs. This here is the AC outlet where we can plug in the 120 cord, plug it into your household current. Very nice. So there is just a cord. There's not a transformer built-in line you actually have just a cord and it's all built inside right here very nice and then over here we have our usb we have two usb outlets so we can actually charge cell phones and run a few things off that very cool they had that nice water resistant uh covers right here to keep the dust out too was really nice so on here we have our power button our max and eco button our settings here this is our plus and minus to change our temperature. So we should be able to just hold this button down to turn it on. There it's on. You can see the ambient temperature in here is 79 degrees. It's pretty warm in the shop right now. This here we have the max and eco mode. Hold that, we go down to eco. So what you would normally do is you'll start this out, you'll get everything cold on max mode. And then after you get everything cold to save energy, you, then you want to put it on the eco mode. Uh, the temperature range here, we can just select this minus button and we can go all the way down. Go down to zero right there. If we hold it right here, we'll see how high it'll go up. And to 50. So we'll put this thing down, back down at about 32 degrees. Right, it does have, actually have a little film on here that you can peel off, but I'm going to leave it on for now just to keep the scratches off. 
this is a very simple unit to operate. That's one nice thing about it. There's not a bunch of bells and whistles, and it's not necessary. You basically got your plugs here, the extra in, inlet plug on the other side, and then your settings button so you can change all your settings. So this is our battery monitor right here. Uh, depending on how you low you wanted to run the battery you're on, say if you're on a vehicle and you wanted to not run your battery down too far so your vehicle don't start, you can change that setting right here. And this is on high right here. Hold it, we go down to low. Hold it, we go to medium. Hold it again, we'll go back to high. So if you put it on low, and it lower down uh, low enough that it should still start your vehicle. And what it does is this thing, when it gets down to that low a voltage, it will actually shut off. I can hear this unit running, so it's very quiet. I'm not sure the decibels yet. I'll have to look that up. But very low decibels, so this is a very quiet unit. So if you look at our specifications here on a manual, it tells us our dimensions, which I told you earlier. And then the weight of this unit is 52 pounds. So it is pretty hefty, but it's because it's hefty built. Uh, it is 47.5 quarts or 45 liters. And it tells you our voltage, DC 1224 or AC 110 to 120 volt, uh, the refrigerant type, and it tells our temperature range, which is zero Fahrenheit, 250 degrees Fahrenheit. So as far as the warranty on this, I wanted to show you 30 days refund guarantee upon receiving, five years warranty on the compressor. This does have a C-Comp compressor, and the C-Comp compressor is a very good quality. This company has been around for a lot of years, and they make high-end compressors that are save energy and they last a long long time so very good compressor in this unit one year warranty for other parts and accessories and now as far as this battery monitor i was telling you about it does explain the voltages right here in your manual and it tells you the low medium and high voltage protection you can see the cut off voltages and the cut on cut in voltages uh, this is the 12 volts so when we're on the low right down here we are on 9.6 to 10.9 volts medium is 10.4 to 11.7 volts and then high up here is 11.1 .1 to 12.4 volts so you can just depend on, on your battery and your vehicle what you trust it at you want to set that to where it don't start i like leaving mine on high just to be safe on a vehicle and then when you're on a battery or a battery backup or something plugged into 110 then you could actually change that it doesn't matter this thing, of course, when it is using energy, it uses 45 watts, which is very good. A lot of them use higher wattage. There's a few smaller ones that use lower, but 45 watts is very good and very energy efficient. But this unit is actually the ruggedized, heavy outdoor unit made for overlanding uh, adventure like we do in our Jeep Gladiator, something you're going to rough around. That's what this VL series is for. Okay, as I was saying, it does have an LED light inside. Now that I got it plugged into the DC, we can see. So this thing is already getting pretty cold pretty fast. We're going to do a check here and see what it does compared to a different model. All right, one thing that they do offer, which is an option for the VL45 Pro S, they also offer it for the other models, the bigger ones. This is a VL Pro series cover for the Iceco fridge. Now this cover is pretty nice because it also, it will protect it and it also insulate it to help it cool a little better. If you got something, you know, that's out in the sun and the heat and you have it insulated on the outside, it's going to actually cool better. And of course, it, like I said, it's going to protect it from bumps and bruises and bangs. So let's open this up and look at this cover. So it looks like this is going to be a very nice heavy cover on the bottom here. It actually has like a beaded rubberized bottom. So for non-slip, so it's very nice. Uh, open it up we'll stick this thing on and go ahead and see what it looks like it looks like it's going to go just like this okay so this cover actually looks really good it's actually a real nice fit you can tell that it's insulated and padded so it feels very good nice texture on the outside uh, easy to unzip easy to put on it also does have a pocket here that we can throw our accessories in which is nice so now without it you don't have that but with the cover on you do have a place to carry your stuff and keep them safe and keep them with the unit also the handles do extend to the outside we also have an opening for the 
DC plug on this side. And we also have all this side here exposed so we can sit, get to it to adjust it and plug everything in here. We also have some vents, vents for our compressor on front and rear. Very, very nice cover, no doubt about it. I like the cover. So I'll definitely be leaving this on when I use this thing just to keep it protected and help keep it cool. Okay, here's a little comparison between the Ice Co. 5. They're both 45s. Uh, they're both actually good units. I've had no problem with this unit. They're, they're both great units. This one has a lot of features that this one doesn't. This one will do a good job. Uh, there's surely a difference in price between the two. I'm not sure of the price of this one right now um, because on Amazon, you know, the prices do change or on their websites. But there's a lot of different ways uh, to compare the two. I want to plug them in also and test them and see how long they take to get down to 32. I'll plug them both into the home outlet 110 AC and we'll turn them both on 32 and we'll see how long it takes them both to get down, which one gets there first to 32. So pretty much when you compare the units, you got to compare uh, the build quality. This one's built out all plastic. It's all plastic top, all plastic sides. Has a compressor unit in the same side. Uh, this unit does have the C-Cop compressor. Noticeable difference is this one has spring-loaded handles. Like I was saying, on this one here, it does not have spring-loaded handles. But both of them will stop before they come up and smash your hand, so they're both good. I don't know that spring load is necessary. I think that's to keep rattle down, but these are stiff, so they won't rattle anyway. This one does have aluminum insert. Smooth. This one has a knurled for grip aluminum insert. This one does have the display on top here, and that one has a display on the side. Now, uh, to be fair, this is a dual zone. Uh, it is a 45, but it actually has a partition you put in here, and it's dual zone. You can you can turn on one zone to cool as freezer, one zone to cool as refrigerator. This one is just one. You can make it all freezer or all refrigerator. This one has a dual zone. But now, for testing purposes, they're pretty much the same size, so I just want to use it as a single zone. I'm not going to put the petition in, and we'll just run it as a single zone to compare it against the ice coat. As far as the lids go, this one does have the plastic lid, the big plastic latch here. It does have a gasket, similar. Now, there is a gap in the gasket right here, so it's not totally closed. That should be. There's a little gap there, which you would want to fix because you will leak some cool air out. This is the set power model right here of the 45. Uh, the lid on this one actually does come off. And you can take the lid off like you can take that lid completely off. And you can actually turn this lid around so it will go the other direction. So once you put it on like this, you can lock it down and use it like that one, both directions. So it's a little you there to get off but once you get used to it it's really nothing to it and it does have aluminum hardware here to hold this on so it's good built and then once you get on there you go you can latch it down so you can put it either way the nice part about this one is because where you're at you can open it from different directions i mean either direction you can open up this way or this way it's that simple grab it it's that simple to take that lid off so Super, super nice and convenient as far as the lid. This one does have uh, bolted on corners. It can be replaced. This one is solid all plastic, so it could not be replaced. It does have these sides here, too, that are bolted on. Uh, so, like I said, this one is steel side. This one is plastic, but this one does have plastic around it. As far as the size, like I said, they are the same. This one only has a your power on one side, which is your DC input also has a fuse here it does not have it on the other side so that's one nice feature about the ice co you can plug it in from either side i really like that that's a thumbs up also as far as plugging it in if you look at the ice co compared to the set power the set power actually has a transformer with a 110 cord and most units actually do have this it has a set power a transformer with the cord like that and then you can also take and then you plug this into your fridge so has all this to plug it in the ice co is extremely nice because it just has a 110 cord right here you have the 110 to plug into your wall this plug in here the transformer and all to run this is actually built inside the unit which is very nice 
and you just open this flap right here, plug it in, and you're good to go. So I do like that. As far as both of them, they both do come with a DC cord that you can plug into your vehicle, be it your car trunk, your car seat, or the back of your vehicle. Uh, they both can be run off solar. They both run about the same uh, watts. This is 45 watt. That's 45 watt. So pretty much the same thing. And as I said, this one has a dual display because it is a dual zone. But right now we're just going to be using one. If you take out the partition, only one display lights up. It makes it into one unit inside. So we're going to plug these things in and see which one of them is pretty warm in here right now in this garage. And we're going to see which one of them will cool down to 32 degrees the fastest. Okay, so I've got these both set up here. I have did plug them both into 110 volts, as you can see here. So they're both plugged into the same 110, uh, trying to make everything as fair as possible. As I said, this is going to be running on one unit, even though it is a dual zone. I'm going to power them on both at the same time. They are both set to 32 degrees and I do have a timer here on this iPad so we can just time it off to keep checking back every little bit and when the get temperature gets down to 32 hopefully I hit it uh, pretty much on the spot if not we'll be pretty close get an idea of which one actually cools down the fastest so we'll go ahead and power both these units on by holding the power button down okay so they're both on and running immediately when I turned this ice go on there this compressor kicked on this compressor immediately came on this one here just kicked on, so it took a few more seconds, which is not a problem. They both actually had a delay. This one had a short delay. This one had a longer delay. So now we're both running here, and we are both on 32. Let me make sure we're both on 32 degrees. Uh, we'll start the timer right now. I'll be pretty close, not exactly to the second, but we'll get an idea of which one actually cools faster in the same ambient room temperature here. So we'll come back in a little while. Okay, so this is our first look. Looks like on our iPad we got 13 minutes, 11 seconds. So we are 73 degrees on this one here. And over here on the ice co, we are 65. Now, do notice too, I did make sure I put both of these in max mode, is what you would want to cool down faster. You can see, to be fair, they're both in max mode, not eco. So, Actually, pretty big difference. We're 65 here now. We're 73 there after 13 minutes. We'll let this thing okay, go. Okay, we're out here at 40 minutes. So just now, I walked out and it turned to 32 on the ice co. We are 35 on the sit power. So pretty darn close. I mean, this one's actually three degrees better as far as that. Let's check the temperature inside and see what they actually are. Hopefully, this is pretty accurate. So inside here, we're showing 33 degrees, 34, depending on where we're at, 33, 31. So this is actually, this ice co is really close to being accurate. Get down to the right spot here, 32, 30, over here, 30, just right, 31. So the ice co does say 32, and it's actually pretty darn accurate. Let's check the set power. 37, 36, 35. Over here where it says 39, 40. Hmm. So 36. So this one is, does say 35, but it's not quite as accurate as, as this one. 35, 40, so that Temperature says 35, but it's not actually as accurate. Quite the difference there. Uh, we'll see how long this set power does take to get to 32. Let it go a little longer. Okay, so just now I noticed that the set power dropped to 32. We're at 45 minutes, so about uh, five minutes difference. Uh, this one's still main in 32 on the ice co. Uh, let's check this and make sure what the temperature is inside. So it says 34, 35. 33 down on the bottom, 34. So this one, uh, the set power is good. It's not quite as accurate as the ISCO. The ISCO is pretty much spot on. When it says you're 32, you're going to be 31, 32. Very accurate. Uh, so that's the difference between the two as far as running them 
on a 110 wall outlet. I'm running them. I ran them to see how long they would go. About 40 to 45 minutes. It takes both of them to get down to uh, 32 degrees. You can see that ice coat is still 32. They're both still maintaining 32. Pretty darn good. Okay, guys. It is time for the ultimate test. I have had both units outside. They've been out here for two hours. They're both still set at 32, and we're going to check the temperatures to see what they are. So we have the set power here, the ice go here, and let's see what they are. Okay, so we are at 37 degrees on the set power. It's hard to see. It's kind of flickering, but it's not flickering here. It's just showing that on the phone. But it's 37 degrees, as you can see. Let's look over here on the ice co. We are 36 degrees. So, quite the deal. Quite the test. I was glad I did that. I was thinking, well, you know, they, they do pretty good inside. Let's see what they actually do outside. So, not a lot of difference. Uh, one degree difference between the two. They've been sitting out, like I said, for two hours in the sun. All right, so that was a good test. I'm glad I did that. I wanted to see what they would actually do outside in the sun because there's going to be times when you have this in the back of your truck or sitting out of the camp and the sun gets on it. You want to know uh, what they'll do in the sun. So as far as the set power, and this is 90 degree temperature out here, it held not too bad, 37 degrees when I have it set at 32. Uh, 36 degrees, so a degree cooler on the ice co. Uh, not too bad. The, that's all four degrees, and we're off five degrees here. You can't expect them to be out in the sun at 90 degrees and actually keep it exactly 32. So there's going to be a little difference. Every one that I've ever tested is the pretty much the same. A lot of them don't do this good, but, I mean, as far as the temperature being off, they're never right down there accurate. Okay, so I've let this thing sit outside for two more hours, and I actually, as you can see, I put the cover on that I showed you earlier. I want to see what the difference is with the cover. Uh, the temperature has come up. It's actually 91 degrees now instead of 90. So we shall see what the difference is here. Somebody, somebody shooting a gun. 34 degrees. Are you kidding me? That's actually pretty good. I'm surprised that it actually did that good. So it dropped two degrees difference just by putting this cover on. And you got to realize the temperature has went up to 91 degrees. So that's pretty impressive. Very good. So the cover definitely makes a difference to have that insulation out here when you're in the sun like that. Okay, guys. So that is the Iceco VL45 Pro S. Very impressive. I really like this unit. You can see I compared it to another unit that's uh, actually comparable. And the results, uh, to me, the Iceco is definitely a winner between the two. Um, the Iceco, is, I'm sure, is pricier. But you know how it is. You get what you pay for and ice co is really good quality they have a super uh, good quality compressor on this unit and so this thing is something to definitely look at i really like this and i will do a later review on this thing after i've had it some time we take it out over landing and see what happens but thank you guys for watching check out the link to ice co below where you can check these out and like i said they do have larger sizes than this and they have a different models that actually is in the smaller sizes so thank you all for watching. Click the thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Catch you on the next one. Right on.